Sarah and I recently took a trip to Asheville, North Carolina and had dinner at a restaurant called Corner Kitchen in the Biltmore Village near the gates of Biltmore Estate. Come along as we try soups, bread, entrees, and an incredible souffle. At Khaki Shorts, we cover travel, food, and just utter nonsense. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to join our community. I apologize in advance for some of the audio. Corner Kitchen is in an old home and it was pretty loud. And then like a spacho. Tomato-y. Is it tomato-y? Yeah. And then this is the clam chowder. No. Crab and corn. Crab and corn? Cool off a little bit. Mm. That's good. This is refreshing and that's refreshing. So this is refreshing. This is very rich. We should probably eat this first and this one. So we'll eat this first and then we'll eat this gazpacho to kind of cool it down. Cool. So we got, what is this? Smoked salmon with something. Right. The smoked salmon with the... <coughs> oh, I guess we should get a fork. We're going to try this. Where's your fork? We're gonna dig in. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. We're gonna dig in. Which fork am I using? Ah, it doesn't matter. So, is that salmon on top? Shredded? Shredded. Wasabi. A little spice and wasabi. It's like this. Taste the salmon. Just the crunchiness of the potato. That is very good. It's a little spicy. I'm trying their biscuits with their homemade butter. The biscuits are very good. They're kind of light and fluffy. Have a good taste to them. And that was part of our bed basket, which pretty much only has one <laughs> biscuit and one thing of focaccia bread. Oh, right. oh, and yeah, we just about devoured our uh, our salmon. So we finished our salmon. Oh, we're not quite. Oh wait, there's more. Ah, she got it last bit. So I actually had to switch out my forks because I was you're supposed to use the small fork for. The appetizer, salad, and the large fork for your meal. I don't think the silverware police are going to come get us, but are you the silverware police? Undercover? They all do. Oh, sweet. I thought it was in trouble. So we got the, what's it, tile fish? It's tile fish seasoned with, oh, these are, that's potato. I think so. And then the veggies, it's like corn and green beans and English peas and some half cherry tomatoes. Oh, let's give this a try. Get the skin off here. Just gonna try some fish. Mm, oh my god. The Georgia peaches. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's very good. Oh, wait, she's pulling her away from me. She didn't want me to <laughs> get any of hers. Mm. Potato. Very good, too. I'm gonna put the camera down and eat this. So we got a souffle. They brought it out. Yeah, thank you. Put the hole on the top and then poured in cream fresh and then the syrup. Yes. And syrup. So we are gonna give that a shot there. Say so the how it is. Go ahead. I'll eat it. That's a thumbless. Got a little bit of everything. Good. Not very peachy. Not very peachy. Uh, so now it's my turn. <laughs> 
I'm gonna try it. So obviously we finished our souffle. Oh, okay. There wasn't an overpowering peach taste to it because they used really fresh peaches, but it was good. And we are miserably full. And now we're gonna walk back so that we can uh, burn off some calories. We were walking by this house and noticed these windows. It reminds us of the Amityville Horror. I don't know that I put windows like that on my house. Whew. We're kind of breathing hard because we just walked up this. We walked down to Asheville to go to our meal. And now we're walking back up, burning up some galleries. I think we needed it. Thanks for joining us for this incredible meal. Be sure to subscribe to join our community and check out some of our other travel videos from our trip to Asheville.